So this sequence, three standing exercises and three lying down exercises, is designed to be done in your hallway, with your kit on, probably even your shoes, just before you go out the door. We're going to focus on posture, abdominals, pelvic floor, calves and glutes, all the things that have to function as soon as your hip foot hits the pavement. And then you can dash out that door and enjoy your run nice and smug that you've done all the right prep and that you're not going to run into any trouble with your pelvic floor or your joints. Enjoy! Three exercises in standing first, thinking about getting warm, literally getting warm, stretching and moving through the calves and starting to focus on our core and our running posture. So feet pointing forward in parallel, little gap between your knees, stand nice and tall. Let both arms stretch up, drop the shoulders away from your ears and then draw them down, maybe feet, fingers leading out behind you. Stretch tall, drop the shoulders, loosen the chest, stretch behind you, stretch tall and behind you. Then let the legs join in, so you stretch tall, but as you come down, bend your knees, stretch your calves, and grow tall again, shoulders down. Think about drawing in the abdominals and stretching up. And one more. And then let's get a bit more calf involved. Lower yourself down, give them a stretch, and then rise up onto your tiptoes like you're carrying your body weight. And then back down and rise up. Push through the calves, feel the glutes kicking in, and down. And again, lift your body weight, and down. So we're massaging our calves, getting some blood flow through our whole body, picking up our body temperature. Just a couple more, up onto your tiptoes, right to the floor, and again. Finish with a big stretch to the ceiling, and down. Now, think pelvic floor. Lovely trick, turn your toes out like a ballet dancer. In this position, if you squeeze as if you're stopping wind, you should be able to feel the back passage muscles working really nicely. Try to keep the rest of you quite relaxed. Squeeze the back passage, let go. Squeeze, let go. One more, just as if you're stopping wind, and release. Then, turn your toes in more like a pigeon. Now lift and tuck underneath the front of the pelvic floor and let go. Lift and tuck as if you're trying to stop a wee and release. Lift and tuck. Release. Two more. Think of lifting up your girl's bits inside. Let them go. And again. And let go. Then put your feet normal and try to lift the back of the front of the pelvic floor at the same time before you release. It's lifting your undercarriage like you put on some great running pants and then release. And again, let go. And then think about including your abdominals with your pelvic floor. It might be happening naturally, but you want to make sure. So take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, on purpose, lift and tuck the pelvic floor a little and get some lower tummy joining in as well and make sure you can breathe over the top nicely. And then release. Sometimes you don't feel like you're doing anything till you let go. So focusing on the lower pelvis, take a breath. As you breathe out, think lower tummy in, lift and tuck the pelvic floor to go with it. Nice, calm combination like really great pants and breathe and release. Once more, breath in. As you breathe out, tighten the pelvic floor underneath and the tummy at the front, but keep it, keep breathing. So it's just a gentle background hold and now set your arms moving just as if you were running. Keep holding the pelvic floor, engaging the lower tummy. Soften the knees if they've gone tight. It's a little bit of a tricky combo. Keep it going, keep it going. And then to see what you've been doing, stop, let everything go. Now we'll make it even a little bit more like running breath in. 
As you breathe out, tummy in, a little bit of pelvic floor. Come up onto your tiptoes. Well, not tiptoes, just the fronts of your feet. Little bit bent knees, weight shifted forward. Keep that pelvic floor, keep your tummy muscles. And now set your arms ready. Don't worry if you bounce a little bit. This is our running posture. So we want to check the calves are working. The knees are a little bit bent. The pelvic floor and the tummy muscles are awake and we're moving arms and we're breathing. Lovely. Pause and release. Stand yourself up tall and we'll get that in our brains one more time. So have a breath. As you breathe out, engage the lower abdominals, lift the pelvic floor like you just put on some fantastic running shorts. Soften your knees, bring your weight a little bit forward onto the fronts of your feet. And then just like you're running, get your arms pumping, make sure you're breathing. Try to look up, try not to look at the floor because you've got to see where you're going. And we're just letting our brains know that this is what we want to happen when we're actually out for a run. Lovely. And pause. And let go. Last one is standing. We're now going to wake up that core a little bit more with a balance, transferring our weight from side to side. So drop a foot back behind you, stretch into that calf and hamstring just like runners do, but now pull that knee up in front of you with a running arm, and then back behind you, stretch your calf. Pull up, tummy in, and back behind you. Eyes up, chin up, pull in through the abdominals, release. Give it a stretch, pull up, release. Two more this side. Give it a stretch, change it round. Drop a leg back behind you, pull up, release. I think I've got my arms in the middle, pull up, release. Pull up, release. Stretch the calf, think tummy, think pelvic floor, two more. And down. Lovely. Come and lie on your mat in your Pilates rest position. Our first lying down exercise actually combines two jobs in one. We're going to loosen our spine so we've got a nice cushioned run and think pelvic floor abdominals. Three things in one. So it's spine curls. Take your knees hip width apart so about an inch gap between your feet and your knees. Relax your shoulders. Focus in on the pelvis, take a breath. As you breathe out, first activate the pelvic floor muscles with the lower abdominal muscles, drawing them in. Tilt the tailbone up towards the ceiling, rolling into the mat, and then let your bottom lift off the mat slowly, coming up tail, hips, waist, chest. Don't be in a rush, get all those core muscles to grip. At the top here, have a couple of breaths and make sure that you're nice and level. Then have a breath and as you breathe out, start to come down. Dropping the ribs first, then your waist, then your hips, and finally your tail. You might find you're a bit stiff at first and it's all a bit plonky. So again, breath in, breathe out, engage the core, the tummy and pelvic floor together. Tilt the tailbone, the coccyx, Roll into the back of the hips, let the hips lift, the waist, roll up through your spine to your ribs. Keep the shoulders nice and soft. Couple of breaths at the top, going for evenness of your body weight on both hips and knees and feet. Have a breath and come down slowly, ribs leading. Tuck the waist down, hips before tail, roll through. Have a breath, go a little swifter, tummy and pelvic floor, curl up. Lift, feel your glutes kick in at the top, hold and breathe, and then dropping down, ribs, waist, hips, tail. Let it be more of a roll, drawing in, curl up, let the fronts of the thighs stretch, feel the glutes working, press down through your hands a fraction, roll yourself back down. One more, should be feeling nice and loose and fluid now, curling up. Hold at the top nice and even, have a breath, control yourself, coming back down. And rest into your neutral spine position, which means your back's not squashed 80 style into the mat, 
but not in a big arch either, in your running position, your neutral spine. Sneak your fingers onto your tummy muscles, but keep your elbows off the floor. Now we'll concentrate in on those lower abdominals. Breath in. As you breathe out, lower tummy for the pelvic floor. When we run, a knee folds in towards us, then our foot hits the pavement for a moment in time. They're both there, but almost immediately, the other one comes off the floor. We're going to change feet, flowing out to lift a leg. You'll always breathe in to lower, keeping the shoulders soft, tummy muscles in. With a well-trained core, this won't be difficult, but it's good to rehearse the sequence before we actually go for a run. Stepping from one leg to the other without losing this middle piece. Back stays in neutral, shoulders are soft, abdominals are flat, pelvic floors engaged. And then for real running, at any, a moment in time, knee the foot's on the floor. So pause, have a breath. As you breathe out, engage the abdominals, lift the pelvic floor, fold one leg up, and now fold the other one to join it. Hold there and breathe, shoulders nice and relaxed. And then lower one, lower the other. Pause, don't let go. Fold, have a breath, engage and fold the other to join it. Hold and breathe, nice soft shoulders. Make sure the tummy's switched on, pelvic floor switched on. Lower and lower. Change, one up, have a breath, breathe out, lift the other one. Soft shoulders and breathe. And then lower one and lower the other. Change, fold, have a breath, fold, hold. Feel those abs just kicking into a higher level than they would have been at home. Lower one, lower the other. Then pause, and now our highest level mimics walking. These are called scissor legs. We're gonna have one up, one down, tummy muscles engaged, and we're gonna swap them over. Blowing out to swap. And now you can picture yourself running along. I think as each foot hits the pavement, are you staying nice and strong through the core, but you're breathing, your shoulders are soft. Just eight repetitions, should wake everything up nicely. And then pause, let go. And you should feel that you had to work that bit harder than whatever you've been doing prior to now. Now, exactly the same task for our glutes. Bring your feet a little bit closer. We're going to show what your bottom has to do with your tummy as you run. Breath in. As you breathe out, tummy and pelvic floor, lift your bottom up in the air. And when we're running, one leg's going to come towards us. And for a moment in time, all the work's on the one bottom. Then we're going to hit the pavement with our foot and we've got to shift our weight to the other side. So blowing out when you pick up a leg, and you've got to use your bottom muscles so that you don't get cramp. It's the bottom that carries your weight, not the hamstring. So if you can feel it in the tops of your thighs, you need to get your brain up into your bottom more. Push your heel into the ground, and change. Blowing out to lift, Blowing out to lift. Pause and lower. If you're a toe runner, we'll do that one more time, but on your toes. So breath in. As you breathe out, turn the in, lift up. If you run on the balls of your feet, come onto your feet. If you're a heel runner, stay on your heels. Blow out. Hit the pavement. Blow out. And you've got to use your bottom muscles so that you don't get cramped. And obviously when you're running, you wouldn't have your arms available to lean on, so you can take them out of the way as well. Just four more. Use your bottom muscles. Blowing out. Soft shoulders. Lower your bottom down. Finish with a big spine curl stretch. Bottom up in the air, arms behind you. Lower yourself down slowly. And then come back up into standing. 
and we'll do one more of those running preps in with our arms moving and we're good to go. Back in standing, draw up through your middle. I hope everything feels alive and awake and good to go. Breath in, as you breathe out, tummy in, pelvic floor, soften your knees, come onto the fronts of your feet, power your arms, chin up. Notice how everything feels just a bit more alive. You should feel nice and warm and you can go and enjoy your run. Have a great time.